Walt My uh, this is Walt Miner here at Embedded World 2020. I am the automotive grade Linux community manager, development manager, and uh, just a quick introduction of automotive grade Linux. We uh, were a collaborative project on the, uh, under the Linux Foundation, completely open source project. We have uh, 155 overall member companies, including 11 car manufacturers and a number of open source, uh, a number of tier one suppliers that, uh, that they use. There's these, op these auto manufacturers such as Toyota, Suzuki, Mazda, uh, Mercedes-Benz, Volkswagen are specifying automotive grade Linux to be used in their upcoming vehicles. Um, we can show you here a, uh, a demonstration of the open source software using our, our famous Green Machine demo and uh, introduce my colleague here, Jan Simone Muller. Hello, I'm Jan Simone Muller and uh, I'll show you the demos that we have here at the booth. Um, first, in the middle, we have our main demo, which shows um, what AGL, what AGL uh, looks like right now. We have here uh, the infotainment side, uh, which is uh, radio, HVAC, media player and navigation going on here. Here we have the instrument cluster, speedometer. Um, we have also the steering, wheels co steering wheel controls integrated here. So we can completely uh, do the uh, cruise control. We can change the volume with the steering wheel that's all integrated. You can hear the navigation sound output. What kind of chipsets are running? What kind of chipsets? So this demo runs on a Renaissance R Cardren 3 chip. Um, and uh, the cluster is actually running on, um, on a Raspberry Pi. Yeah, so what you see right now, that's the R Cardren 3 uh, on the Kingfisher baseboard. So this is a uh, ARM Cortex uh, as a... That's a 64-bit ARM uh, 64 chip, 8-core, uh, big little um, setup. And uh, the cluster is running on a Pi 4. Is there a lot of Linux in cars? Um, it is. So AGL is in production uh, for a couple of uh, car vendors. So Toyota has a couple of models running AGL. Um, then uh, we have also uh, Subaru uh, that has it announced. And uh, that's currently in production. Over here we have a demo which brings both systems on one single board. Um, and they are using containers to make that happen. What is this board? That's also the uh, uh, R car with the Kingfisher baseboard. So it's the same baseboard, but instead of using two boards, we use one board and both applications here are in a separate containers. And as you can see, if one container is um, basically reset it, it is instantly available again. Uh, what's, the, what's the big challenge? It's a big challenge to do automotive grade, no? So is it to do with the reliability, security, uh, speed? Yes. What is it? Yes. Um, reliability and security are important topics. Um, the uh, AGL has uh, security extensions built in because we think that you cannot just attach security at the end. Uh, so we have a security framework active and we have um, access control to our APIs built in. And that's what's special about AGL over uh, a standard of the shelf Linux system. How much Linux is there in automotive thus far? Is uh, are there, um, many of the systems using other other OSs? Many of the cars out there. Um, there is Linux used in the car. Um, um, 
at, at different functions. Uh, with AGL, we are exploring how to use it in uh, in different use cases within the car, ranging from infotainment to cluster to telematics, um, even down to autonomous. Um, so. Even is most of it today systems. is infotainment? Infotainment cluster telematics is what we have in the code base. Um, but the platform is capable of supporting also further use cases. But most deployed uh, cars in the, in the world it's are just in infotainment for yes. now. Yes, right? infotainment. To get into this area is a, is a, is a big deal. Yes. To get in all the, all the other... Yes. yes, and there's work to do, of course. So what's the big challenge now? Um, the big challenges are to uh, um, reach functional, functional safety. Um, the goal for the project is to provide the platform basically an 80% starting point of the final product. And the goal is to reach ACL B with the platform. B? What B. does that mean? Uh, there are multiple levels. Um, and for automotive, there are, there are ACL A, B, C, D and for AGL the, uh, the target is ACLB. Uh, what's the difference between A, B? Um, I'm not a is sure. higher? No, no, D is higher. D is, D the, is highest. the highest. D yeah. is the highest. Uh, so, uh, what, what are we looking at here? Okay, here you see uh, AGL even runs on a Raspberry Pi 4, so if you want to try it out at home, get a Raspberry Pi 4, go to our website and you can download the ready image. Uh, it also works on, uh, on uh, kind of more production-like hardware. So this is, for example, a BeagleBone Enhanced uh, over here, which is a nice telematic device. Or um, it also works on an UpSquare board. <coughs> Um, so that's uh, everything. Cool stuff. Everything uses the same code base. It's exactly the same code base. Same code base. How about the uh, graphical user interface? Is there a lot of different options out there? Or what do so people right do now that? you have two options. Uh, what you see here on display, this is our QML demo inter uh, demo UI, uh, but you can also do HTML5. Um, but we don't have that on display right now. Uh, what's happening here? So over here, um, that is AGL uh, tailored towards uh, a boat system. Um, so for driving um, a whole boat setup. So it's boat great Linux? Basically, yeah. So what's, what's uh, how, did, how did they how is it possible to take what AGL is doing and take it over to the boats? So AGL itself is all open source. Um, so the foundation, uh, the, the platform is all open source. And here we see an implementation that's capable of driving the, uh, the boat related systems. I mean, in the end, they also use CAN bus. Uh, so the, the, the uh, interfaces are very similar. And what is there? Um, I think that's the, that's the uh, that's the simulators for the uh, navigation here. And and here, um, it's more. So this is kind of this is um, a navigation system, an open source navigation system um, for uh, for boats. So uh, when you look at all the when you look at all the cars, the most modern cars right now in the in the market, what are the leading OSs that people use in not in the infotainment but in the other parts? It's a bunch of different. Well, soon AGL, of course. AGL, but the other ones are like um, Artas's or. Uh, yeah, right now um, there are a couple of Artas's out there. Right. Very popular, and here in Germany, there's a few car companies, right? So they're probably very busy working in this in Germany. Yes. So we have uh, uh, Daimler uh, being active in the project, and the whole VW group um, working on AGL. Yeah.